Okay, I'm gonna show you how I make my uh, front and rear headlights. I took and cut two pieces of zero zero point zero zero four fiber optic tubing. Once you cut them, you can cut them a little long. You can trim them down at the end. All right, I take them and I file them. After you cut them, sometimes it's jagged edges, so you got to file them down. When you're filing them down, make sure you don't breathe any of that stuff in from the shavings. Um, it's not good for you. All right. After you got them filed down and they're exactly the same length, all right, take a lighter. You don't put it in the flame. You put it up to the edge of the flame where it's going to, you'll start seeing it bevel the front of the edge. I don't know how good you can see that on camera, but it beveled the front. It almost made it look like a round headlight lens. After you got it beveled, you can try it in and see it fits perfectly in the headlight lens. Okay, that's one. Now I gotta put the bevel on the other one. Don't put it in the heat, just put it up to the heat. And you can, you'll start feeling it beveling it. All right. That's why I said you can leave them long on the length. Because if you mess up when you're doing the bevel on, with the heat and the lighter, you can just cut it off and sand it down and try it again. All right. let it focus there's the front fiber optic tubing and you can see that it it sticks through the shell into the inside that's how we're going to attach it to the uh, three millimeter led in a minute all right that's the fiber optic tubes all right take shrink wrap tubing cut your piece off on certain engines you don't have to be uh real precise on the length how you do it but with this engine i want to make this uh led and fiber optic tubing as short as i can possibly get it because it's not a lot of room in there i got a speaker right here and i don't want the light to inter interfere with it all right here's my uh three millimeter leds I bought them off eBay. They're bright white. I got a hundred of them for 10 bucks. If you go to a hobby store, you're going to get six of them for 20 bucks. So buy them off of eBay. All right. These ones have a little ridge here at the back. Now, when you go to slide it into your shrink wrap tubing, that ridge is going to cause problems. See, it don't fit in. It won't slide over. You can force it, but you don't want to really have to force it. All right. So you take your metal file and you just grind that edge, that little lip off. And again, make sure you're not breathing this shavings. I heard it is very bad for you to breathe in. All right. So I got the lip sand it down on two sides where it's flat now and it's still got the round lip on uh two sides but the other two sides don't now i can test it and it slides the shrink wrap tubing slides right over real easy take it back off now we're ready to start putting the leds together You can check other videos 
if you don't know how to tell the polarity on a LED, the long lead is always the, it's either the cathode or negative. It's the positive. I don't know exactly which one it is. Just the long leads are positive. I snip only one of them off at a time. This uh, little jig right here, I'll show you what it is. It's just a magnetic chip holder clip. You can buy it at any dollar store. I got it where it slides under my plywood. Then I got a tweezers that are the kind that squeeze all the time and you got to put pressure to have it to release. All right. Hold on one second. I'm grabbing some wire. All right. All this wire right here, it's all from the factory uh, bulbs that come in that uh, Atherin engines. I take it out. And if you pay attention, one of them has a, a aluminum wire and the other side has a copper wire. I always use the copper for my positive and I always use the aluminum for the negative that way once I cut these leads off and I solder it up when I go to assemble it I always know the copper is the positives on my LEDs and I don't have to buy any spare wire to do this all this wire comes in all these garbage atherin bulbs I don't know why they haven't switched over to uh LEDs it would only cost Atherin maybe a dollar more per engine it probably wouldn't even be a dollar more it would probably be close to the uh, exact amount that they, they it cost them to put the engines together now all right this is just flux I got it at Radio Shack before they went out of business I just put a little bit on the lead. Right now all I'm doing is uh, tinning up all my leads. I already put some flux on the wire. Just tinning it up. Here's the copper for the positive. Okay. Add a little bit more, a little bit more uh, solder on here. Now I gotta go back and snip off the the negative. Put it back in my little holder here. Grab a little bit of flux. Put it on the the lead. Remember, you don't need a ton of flux. That flux can corrode depending on what type you have. You just need a dab. All it's going to do is just make that solder stick onto that terminal a lot easier. All right. Clean my tip because I got some too much flux building up on the end of it from doing all that. Alright, I already tinned 
this lead. go that's what it looks like now now let me get some uh smaller shrink wrap tubing remember i told you about the size so you want to cut this shrink wrap tubing as small as you can too just to cover the ends of that where you just pot um where you just solder those leads on you don't need no long pieces the longer you put it's the longer this LED set's going to be. When I first started making them up, they were about five inches long, which in some engines, it don't matter. You got plenty of room to run it. Slide up the shrink wrap tubing. Make sure it's all the way up. Take your soldering iron. You don't ever want to use the very front part of your uh, soldering tip. What's going to happen from the shrink wrap tubing, it's going to put uh, trash on the front of your tip. And when you go to solder, you're going to be contaminating your solder joints. That's not good. You don't know what it's going to do down the road. It could make it fail. All right. That's what it looks like at this stage. Okay. Now, what I do, why it's like this, I'll take and put a couple twists on the wire. That way it looks like that. It makes it where if you yank on one of the wires, it's less likely to rip it out of the LED. Now I take and I take my larger shrink wrap tubing, I slide it back over, and if you remembered how long we left them, the fiber optic tubing sticking out up in the top, that's about as much room you need to leave on this. I'm not going to be able to show me getting this in because it's too fitty, it's too small to to show, so. Give me a second.
that's what it looks like when it's all done. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll show you in a little while what it looks like when I'm all done. I gotta take the back of the cab apart. That way I can get the LED up into the cab. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully it helps you out.